My wife, 26 female, and I, 25 female, have been married for 18 months. She has been no contact with her paternal family as long as I've known her. She has an older brother and sister who are also estranged from the paternal side. It took a little while for her to explain the whole mess, but the short story is, while their mom was on life support after an accident, they learned their father was sleeping with their mom's best friend. Then the day before the funeral, they learned that their father and mom's best friend had multiple affairs during the course of the marriage, and at least one of the mom's other friends knew and had intervened in the past and broken them up, only for them to always get back together. The funeral became a crap show, and my wife, her siblings, along with their mom's parents and siblings, publicly announced this to everyone until they left the funeral and had made it clear that my wife and her siblings would be going home with their grandparents and not them. Wife was 16 at the time and the youngest. June of last year, my wife got a call to tell her that her father had been taken to the hospital and was unlikely to survive. She chose not to go and see him, and her siblings made the same choice. After two days we had a phone call from a social worker who wanted to meet with my wife and her siblings. They learned during the meeting that their father had two children with the best friend, and that the best friend had passed hours after their father. They were named by other family members as the ones to contact, and so this caseworker had wanted to find out if any of them were open to talking to the children, or whether they would like to meet and be part of their lives. All three said no, and the social worker let them go. July, my wife found out that her paternal grandparents had taken the kids, and ever since her grandparents have been finding different ways to tell her she's married, and should have taken the kids and that she owes them and her dad. My wife blocked them, made her account private. I had to do the same when they went to me. But then they emailed my business page and called where my wife works. After dealing with this for so long and after Christmas, going back to my business page to find several messages from them, I snapped and called them and told them my wife doesn't owe them or their deceased son anything and they need to leave us alone. They tried to leave negative reviews and left more messages saying I was an a-hole and I should be thinking about two young children who didn't ask for any of this. They also claimed I should speak to my wife. My wife didn't mind me telling them what I did. We had discussed it at length prior. But now I've pissed them off more, so I need to ask, am I the a-hole? Also, just for those who asked, we have spoken to a lawyer and are working on next steps. Not the a-hole. I feel bad for those kids, though. They lost both their parents and now have to deal with this as well. I hope they're getting counseling. Good for you for taking further steps, however. The grandparents are harassing you and your wife. I will never understand how some people think it could be better for those kids to be taken in by two strangers they never met, instead of the grandparents who, I assume, they knew their entire lives. Not the a-hole at all. Broken family dynamics suck, and I bet your wife is relieved that you've got her back. The grandparents are pissed and saying you shouldn't speak for her because they want to invade the boundaries she set and you're upholding. Nothing pisses a-holes off like being told no. Good on you. Not the a-hole. You don't just inherit children. I understand the grandparents are probably not at the age where they are capable of taking care of young children, but that does not give them the right to dump the responsibility on who they decide. Good for standing behind your wife. Haha. <laughs> Background. My sister-in-law is a divorced single mother with a two-year-old and is on active duty. She used to have friends that she would regularly leave her child with instead of us, because she also needed someone to feed and watch her three dogs, four indoor cats, and three to four outdoor cats. We watched the animals and the friend watched the kid. On multiple occasions when this friend would fall through on childcare, she would call us day of, and we would rearrange our lives, fight traffic, and get her kid because we wanted to help. When she has long underways, we made it clear we cannot watch her kid because my husband is also active duty and I work. I cannot drop my own kid off at school and drive 45 minutes to an hour across town to the military base and fight traffic to drop hers off, and then get back to work on time. Her child goes to the military base daycare facility. My child goes to a public school 10 to 15 minutes from my house in the opposite direction of the base. His hours don't always allow him the ability to drop her kids off and pick her up. Current situation. My husband and I invited my sister-in-law and niece to our child's birthday party on Saturday. We also informed her we were newly pregnant again and mentioned that we have not told my in-laws yet. We assumed she would be excited to be an aunt again. She initially agreed, but my husband and I both noticed a tone change on the phone. We both assumed she had just been annoyed at her little one, since we could hear her trying to shop with her when we called. Later in the evening, she texts my husband and says that she isn't coming to the party, and he asks why. She states that we had struggled to help her out with her child and having her a few times a week, but now we are having a whole baby we need to care for 24-7, and that she is hurt and needs some space and time. Of course, I personally cannot let this be, and let her know her comments were selfish and did not depict the entire picture, since we have repeatedly cared for her child on numerous occasions, sometimes with no notice. It has been made very clear I logistically can't drop ours off and hers off on two different sides of town. We've also cared for her animals. She's a 15 to 20 minute one-way drive for us, and sometimes we made multiple trips a day to her home to care for her animals.
She snapped at my husband over text. She was angry he had told me what she had said. My husband explained to her that I asked why, and he does not lie to me. So, he told me what was going on. He then had a bad feeling at that point and called my mother-in-law, only to find out that my sister-in-law had called and told her we were pregnant. My husband is also livid she told my in-laws about our pregnancy before we could. We were planning on announcing this second one in a cute way, and she stole that from us. Am I the a-hole for saying something to my sister-in-law to spark off this craziness? Should I have let it be? Just wondering what this woman's plan was when she decided to have a kid, not the a-hole. Good grief. I'm a single mom with zero family around. Having any help at all would be amazing to me. Your sister-in-law sounds so entitled. Let your mother-in-law handle her, and you guys enjoy the new addition for your family, not the a-hole. You haven't struggled to help out with her kid. She has struggled to care for her own kid and animals, because her kid and life choices are not your responsibility. You are allowed to have more kids, even if she can't sort out her life, not the a-hole. Also, I'd be so sad about her ruining the announcement. That's so petty and self-centered. <sighs> this might be a little controversial, I don't know. But basically, my sister buys her kids, three boys under ten, whatever they want. But get this, they aren't spoiled brats. She's taught them manners, how privileged they are, etc., and will absolutely discipline them if they misbehave. But she has never said no to buying them a toy or anything else unless it was harmful or whatever else. She thinks that if she can afford it, there's no reason to say no. Again, unless it's dangerous or inappropriate. The boys also have a room stocked with toys. It's actually pretty cool. They have their own rooms as well, but that playroom goes hard. I'm saying this as a 22-year-old woman. My sister's sister-in-law isn't a huge fan of this. She thinks that my sister is spoiling them, and that even if it isn't showing now, it's bound to make them misbehave in some way soon enough. My sister tells her sister-in-law to mind her own. I'm on my sister's side simply because I know her. She's a wonderful mother and teacher. Her sister-in-law's just jealous because of how close my sister is to her kids, because one thing about those boys, they love their mommy. Her sister-in-law's relationship with her kids is complicated. Anyways, my sister hosted a girls' night with me, our sisters, and her sister-in-laws. Her husband was out and her kids were in bed. We were having a good time when that sister-in-law left to use the washroom. All of a sudden, we heard a loud crash coming from the playroom. My sister almost had a heart attack thinking one of her boys snuck into the room and got hurt. Nope, it was just sister-in-law. She was basically trying to take some of the toys, and I'd put a couple in her bag. My sister was just shocked and asked if she was being serious. Her sister-in-law just shrugged and said they have too many toys, and the toys will probably be better off of less privileged kids. My sister told her to get the duck out, but she kept arguing saying she's raising spoilt and entitled boys, and that she's scared for the future generation. My sister was about to lose it, so I cut in and said that she should be concerned for her own kids, considering her eldest just got expelled for being aggressive. I went quiet and she started crying. She called me a bee and said she was only trying to help, and I had no right to bring up her daughter. She insisted that her daughter getting expelled has nothing to do with the situation, and I was just trying to insult her. She did leave though. The rest of us helped clean up, but one of sister and all sisters said that I shouldn't have brought up her kids. I called her to talk, but she hasn't answered. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. Good for you for standing up for your sister. And what the doc? Sister and all trying to steal her nephew's toys? And saying, she would not have left if you had not thrown that out there about her daughter. It seems like she needed a reality check, and you gave her one. Sister and all is jealous of your sister and her great relationship with her sons and good parenting. Good for you. Not the a-hole. She was acting entirely out of line, essentially stealing from someone else's children, and was planning on giving it to her own kids, assuming also the suspended child, which is rewarding bad behavior. She wanted to control how your sister parents her children, but was insulted when you brought up her own parenting, or lack thereof. She can't have it both ways. As a side note, she was just expecting to fill her purse and walk out without your sister realizing toys were missing. What kind of Grinch nonsense is that? Not the a-hole. What you said is called a reality check. Spoiling kids can be as much about teaching kids no responsibility, manners, accountability, gratitude, as it can be about having too many material things. Sounds like your sister's kids have been taught the fundamentals of good behavior. Sounds like no one has taught those things to sister-in-law. <sighs> Background. My mother had a three-year affair with her affair partner when I was 17. Dad found out and they divorced despite begging her for a second chance. Affair partner and her ended because his wife forgave him since she was pregnant and he wanted his wife. Brother and I never spoke with our mother again, and we kept contact with her ever since, till I found out she was messaging my ex fiance and manipulating her to reconnect herself with me, and wanted to be invited to our wedding. It resulted in me ending my relationship with my ex. We got back together for a bit, then ended the relationship again for a different reason. Current. My brother, however, unknown to me, while my issue was going on, had his own thing going on. 
After the divorce, he sort of became a commitment phobe and has never dated anyone beyond one or two months. He is a manager at a nightclub and his life was mostly casual relationships. He's my closest friend and he was the rock in our household when the divorce happened, where my dad fell into a severe depression. He gave up his dreams to work abroad for us and took over the responsibilities in our house, which I was always grateful for. I realized my brother was seeing someone, Dina, when he introduced me to her a few weeks back. I had this feeling like I recognized her from somewhere, but I couldn't put my finger where. Did some light stalking on her cause she looked awfully familiar, and when I found her Facebook page by connecting some of her Instagram photos to Google Images, and then saw a picture of her graduation photo with her father, who was a fair partner and her mother. This shocked me, and I immediately let my brother know who Dina is, and where my brother surprised me even further, that he knows who she is and is simply playing along till she comes clean. I asked him what was the end game here, and he replied he's not sure, but he can guess that perhaps she wants to use him to hurt her father or our mother. Over the years as our family slowly healed, my brother slowly reverted back to his more carefree happy-go-lucky self, and my dad and I figured to let him lead his life however he wants, which is why I trust him, but I still feel protective over him, so in my own judgment, I decided to confront Dina since she spends some nights at his place. I of course told my brother first I need to talk to her, cause while I trust he can handle this, I don't want some old wounds to be opened due to this. With his blessing, he arranged a meeting with her without him, and I disclosed I know who she is. Dina wasn't surprised, however, and understood from the vibe when I first met her, I had some reservations about her and would do some digging about her. We talked and she disclosed while it's true that at first she wanted to use my brother to hurt her father and also our mother. She changed her mind when she realized we cut off our mother because of their affair. She informed me while her mother forgave her dad, their relationship was never the same, and he had an online relationship with our mother again when there was another rough patch in her parents' marriage, till her mother found out about it, threatening divorce, and he immediately ended it this time for good. She said she never forgave my mother and her father for hurting her mother and her, and have always rebelled against him in every way she can since. I asked what her intentions are with my brother, and she said she has developed some feelings for him, which I'm not sure how to process. She also guessed that my brother knows her identity, and she will come clean with him and let him decide whether he wants to be with her or not. I told her it's best to end this because I don't want my dad and brother to be hurt in this, and also I don't want her father close around us. She claims that her father is not going to be a factor, because if my brother chose to be with her, she is going to punish her dad by constantly bringing my brother to meet her mother, who is aware of the relationship. I was getting angry, and told her this is childish and using my brother to settle some grudge against her dad is wrong. But she was too calm about this, and simply said it's up to my brother to decide whether he wants in or not. Knowing my brother, he would definitely agree to this, just to hurt her father as well. We didn't end our talk in peaceful terms, and I went to my father to speak to him about this. He was shocked, but kept quiet while I talked and decided ultimately, he will advise my brother to end this relationship. But if he is adamant to do what he wants, he will make sure that nothing happens to him. Came to find out her mother and my dad are Facebook friends, and they both send each other things like birthday and Christmas wishes, but nothing more. My brother and I spoke again. It seems that she has let him know about her intentions and informed him she will be out of his life if he doesn't want her around. But, as I predicted, my brother is totally on board this crazy train. I am worried about him. Because while in the past I have dealt with the crazy exes of his that came looking for him when he broke up with them, this girl is giving calm and collected kind of crazy vibes to make me feel uncomfortable. She does seem to be infatuated with my brother, but for all the wrong reasons. I can feel my brother and I are having a tense relationship about this because of his decision. Apparently, she finally brought him to meet her family, and the crack show that ensued when her father realized who he was has blown over into my side of the family. And while my mother has agreed to never reach out to my brother and me, she called my dad to plead with him to advise my brother to stop this, because apparently, Dina's father called my mother to complain to her, and told her she better stop my brother from seeing his daughter, or he will deal with my brother personally. Not sure what he means with that. I will support my brother if he comes against him, but at this moment I am not liking what my brother is doing. I don't know how to go about this, because while I don't think my brother is in her grip, but they both seem to be into each other for the sole purpose of hurting other people. Should I stay out of this or should I step in for my family's sake? <sighs>